Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another verse video with Brad Nelson and Tom the Boss Ross. This week, we're preparing for the Invitational this weekend in it's Columbus. Like Columbus. Yep, That's right. I just always figure we go south, north, west. I never know where we're actually going to end up. Surprise. Yeah, Todd drives. But um, today, we're going to be playing the Malira Coco Court of Calling concoction. Yeah, basically a new birthing pod deck. Yeah, so I would I, I want to call it MCCC. Slossies. Yeah. <laughs> Against Affinity, a deck that has been around forever. Uh, that's actually when I started playing Magic was back when Affinity was around. Mm -hmm. And it has just existed in the format uh, no matter what. And it's always performed pretty well. It's a deck that you kind of can forget about, but then you'll lose to it in a tournament. Like, yeah. if you don't respect it, it will beat you. And it, no matter what format, what bannings, what happens, this deck exists. So uh, the new... You know, card on the the block is collect a company, and to see if that card's good enough, we have to play it against all the decks that just have always existed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about stock is a deck you can get in modern is a affinity. Anybody can beat it if they want to. Yes, everyone can beat it, but the thing is, most people ignore it because there's always these flashy things they have to worry about, mm -hmm. like they don't want to lose a Splinter Twin or to you know the black green uh, mid range decks. Uh, yeah. Now everyone's thinking about Collected Company and and the voices that come with them. So we'll see what happens in this video. Also, you know, Tom had to pick that deck so he can still try to infect me. Mm -hmm. Inkball's Nexus. Yeah. He's just like, I want to play Infect every single week. And I'm like, no, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So he found a way out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. And I would talk about how the matchup plays out, but I have no idea. So let's just let's just see what the top car six cards of my deck have. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, everyone, uh, we're going to play a new dice game with Tom. Tom doesn't like the old version of Sevens. So we're going to play a new version, which is closest to Seven wins. Yeah, me and BBD did it. It gets it over fast. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I like how, you know, I thought this was our thing. No. And then I hear you're just doing it with everyone. <laughs> anyway, if you can take a look, we've got... Stop, sorry. Uh, is this... What video is this? What do you mean? Well, uh, how many times has Casper already on? None. Which, which I'm wondering if this is Monday, Wednesday, or Fridays, and if all three are going to have Casper. This is 6-5, which is, this is actually the last video. It's Friday? Yeah. Okay, so they, so we're already going to have one of the other people talk right. about? Your one with DVD will air before that one, and so, one with Todd DVD that just did on this. Did they talk about Casper? I mean, I'm sure they did. So you can okay. Just, you bring, it to, bring it to light, but not necessarily draw on it. Okay, I got it. Yep. Yep. All right, to kick things off, we're going to be doing uh, a different sevens game. Uh, instead of just seeing who hits the first seven, we're actually trying to hit sevens. We're going to see who gets closest to seven. Yeah, one roll. Or if we're tired, we re roll. I'm just really hoping that I have the perfect roll. Yep. I got an eight. You got a six. Re roll. So I get this over with? Seven. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good don't. Ah. All right. So you win. Just, I just want to clarify, I would have won my sevens game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Gotta change it up on you. Don't hate the player. Hate <laughs> the game. All right. Uh, my hand is average. It's not explosive, but I get things started. I think I have a turn two ice champion. That's not bad. Well, I have a turn two kill, I think. Chucks. <laughs> I don't think it's possible, <laughs> but I have some cards. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah, I got some. Zero drops here. All right. Dead. I think I'll pay the full amount for this. All right. There you go. That, that does look pretty stone average. If that was a Ravager, I would have been a little bit more afraid. I'm going to start off with Noble Hierarch in your turn. I have two permanents to his five. Two. It's useful. Oh, uh, well, this is a combo, but... Yeah, just whack them for a bunch. Yay. Wah, wah. Yay. I guess I'll activate this Blink Ball Fexus too. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. All right, so I'm at 13, you're at 27. 
That's what I got. All right. This is me blocking. Go. <laughs> all right. Blocking all the damage. No. How much back I make? Four. Which is not any better than three. Or is it? Oh, not better. Okay, it's in. Alright, I will kill the plating, go to 12, and you go to 28. Yep. This guy, this card. Alright, I think, I think we can stabilize here. We're just gonna have to get a little bit lucky. Your turn. <laughs> I don't have anything. I just have to attack in this collect company no matter what. Alright, I guess we'll see what happens. They're in. Everything? Even that? Yeah, why not? I feel like that's the highest risk creature. Yeah, so what? Alright. <laughs> Coco! One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. All right, well, our life total might be at risk. So we might want to get these two. But we have a fetch land anyway. <sighs> All right, I have, I have, I have to, I have, I have a judge question. Judge, does my deck have a swamp in it? Okay. Cool. The judge said yes. All right, so I guess we're just going to get these two and trigger yeah. to get back the collected company. I think, yeah. And then I'll block. And I'm taking five down to seven, and you're at 29. Mm -hmm. And then my turn? Yep. Cool. <sighs> All right, so I can fetch for a swamp here, but I still think I want to collected company, and I'm not blocking anything. So I might as well be attacking. Uh, is there any? Oh wait, no, I can. I should just collect company right now. Collected company, and I don't want to shuffle because I don't want any of those first cards. Three. Four, five, six. I'll get these two. And I'll go get a swamp. And I'll play a Viserys here. And I'll put a counter on it, or on that. And then, may I show you an infi infinite loop? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I will sacrifice Kitchen Finks, getting Persist. It comes back with a negative, a negative one. Trigger my Anafenza, remove, sacrifice it again, gain two more life. Okay, you got, you got the much life. I have infinite life. And then, and I'll end with this. Or no, I'll end with that, with it, removing it. Uh, but I get to, I get to- Cut your uh, deck and let you scry your, yeah. as much as you want. Yeah, all right. So because, so I have infinite life now, let's just go with how much can the, <laughs> how much can, can our display show? Okay, I only have 999 life. <laughs> but I'm gonna scry a bunch. Because every single time I do this, I get to scry. So, no, no, no. I understand that these aren't in the correct order. But, no, no, yes. And mm -hmm. attack for five. What you at, 24? And then your turn. Okay. All right. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, go. All right. Uh, quarter calling for red cap and then kill you. Doing the same thing. All right. Yeah. I'll die. Assuming Good everyone game. at home knows this one. Sack, boom, 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 boom. Do you went and got cord? Huh? You kept cord on top? Yeah, I I, I tutored until I found cord upon. Cool. So I can kill the next turn. 
We're here for game two. I'm on the play. I have a pretty good insult artifact hand and a removal spell. I think I got some action this time. Uh, I have one of my favorite hands of all time. This has won me... Well, this card wasn't out then. But hands like this won me so many matches that I can't mulligan it. It's just it's too precious to me. Do some math. Do I need to play this Dark Steel Citadel first? I think I do. Uh, this and that. And this. Do you have a okay. two drop? Uh, kinda. Go. Kinda? <laughs> kinda, he says. Well, that was not useful. Go. Galvanic Blast it. That is kind of a two drop. Not bad. I wish I could install Artifact to Think Moth Nexus, but it would fall off within turn. Mm -hmm. So I will just. Soul Artifact. Do I want Indestructible or Flying? Probably indestructible. Maybe not. I mean, if you're playing around like Abrupt Decay, I can get both of them kind of anyway. And like Pride Mage can get both. Okay. I'll just. I'll go with the Flying then. Alright. Alright, I'm at 15. Okay, go ahead. And you have no cards in hand? Nope. Alright, well, let's. uh. I'm just going to get a forest and go to 14 and play two birds. No O stone. Your turn. Hmm. Before I end up sacrificing things to this. <laughs> Maybe the Ornithopter? Oh, shoot. That's on my foot. Oh, I, I got it. Oh, I, 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 I see it. It doesn't matter, just get cast into something anyway. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I'm not too unadjusted. Maybe I just won't cast it. Maybe he'll just die. I'm gonna attack you. Not blocking. Two, three, eight, nine. And I'm at 14. Yeah, you have lethal. I won't block here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah give on plus me to 10 and sack your fours. Either four, so this goes up to five. All right, I'll block. You take ten. I'll right. block. I'm at five. Ooh, collect your company. This game is over if, if no one has figured out. I could have maybe came back and won that game <laughs> if I blocked up. <laughs> if you Galvanic blast me and I block, I can win. <laughs> True. What was your collected company? This stuff? Uh, it was a birds to block and a voice to block. And then I had another birds to block. I would have still needed a lot more. But. All right, so for sideboarding, uh, I'm not too comfortable with uh, exactly what I'm supposed to do, but I'm assuming that voice resurgence is bad in the matchup. Like, uh, I'm not trying to get Tom to, you know, <clears throat> he's not playing Reman, so I'm not trying to get him to not be able to fight over things on my turn. Flickerous, even though it can block all of the flying creatures, feels like the worst card in my deck since that's the only job it has, so it's just a 3-1 that trades down all the time. Uh, Spell Sky doesn't do much, and then the cards that I'm bringing in all seem high impact. Kataki obviously, is just the best card ever. It is. Uh, Abrupt Decay is great. Path helps me kill some things, and then I'm bringing in the Forge Tender for that card. <laughs> uh, okay, as for myself, basically Mim Knight's very low impact. It gets um, blanked pretty easily, even as much as just a 1-2 or a 2-2 from his side. Um, and Soul Artifact's a card you sideboard out pretty often just because they have answers to it, or more answers to it post-board. Um, I've taken out a Mana Source and Spring Leaf Drum, basically because there's a combo with Midnight in a way, and also because I'm on the draw for this game, and I think I can afford to cut a Source. But uh, Whip Flares are great against him. His creatures are generally small. The Relics are against his uh, recursion effects, like they'll stop the Persist from Either, either Murder's Red Cap or Kitchen Finks. And uh, there's a couple other things like Eternal Witness. Topo Orb shuts off all his come into the battlefield effects. And just a dismember because I think you know, it's good against all his creatures. Yeah, having good removal is good. <laughs> no doubt. Let's see how it works. All right, so we're here for game three. I'm on the play. It looks just like my main deck configuration, but that is good enough. My deck is not very, or my hand isn't very interactive, but it looks like I have a really high chance of killing them avoid them, so I'm going to keep it. <gasps> That's not, I don't like the sound of that. I'm just going to get a 
forest. Wait, you said poison? <laughs> Overgrown too. <laughs> Go. 19. Play the things I know I can play. Yes, that's it. That is, yeah, is not bad. All right. Well, <laughs> did you cut my deck? Uh, no. Okay. I have to. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not playing this game where I shuffle for a while while you do your thing, and then I draw Malara when you say that you're gonna kill me with poison. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not playing that game. I can already see the comments now. <laughs> Draw much better. Uh, we'll go get a planes. We really don't need dual lands, and you know, if if Tom just goes cranial plating, th- those precious life points could be relevant. So get a planes and play this game, and then your turn. So I'm back up to twenty. Sadly, I can't attack and play my Steel Overseer. Sadly, yeah, sadly, on turn two, you don't have access to four mana. And three poison plus three poison isn't all that great. That's only four. Oh, wait. I'll have five mana next turn. What does that do for me? Nothing. Let's see, cast Precursor Goal. True. Infinity hard. <laughs> I'll set up for a grindier match or something. That has to be a bad idea. I already attacked it this much. All right, so I'm going to take they both trigger, so I'll take four. Four, yeah. I'm at 16. I don't think there's any way I want to attack with both of those next turn. Still Overseer and a draw. All okay. right. Yeah, go. So, draw. It's not a good one either. All right, so we are going to... Ooh, actually, no, I'm, I don't want to miss a point of damage. Attack for five. Okay. At 15. Gotta kill the still overseer. That thing is just too lethal. And I'll play a Verdant Catacombs. Or do you want to cast something? No, I'll think about adding the mana. I don't need okay. to. And then your turn. Uh oh. Three poison. I guess I have four poison and then six next turn. I guess that's a plan. So, that is activated. We drop it to 15. Or do I want to kill with damage? You had enough to company if you had it. So you're saying is since I didn't play Collection Company, I probably don't have it? That's what I think. I could just hit you for seven regular old-fashioned damage. Or seven plus three, in fact. I guess that's okay. Yeah. All right. All right, seven damage and three in fact. Got beat you to it. Oh, I messed up. So eight to fifteen. Okay, yeah, go. Ew. Oh, that doesn't help. Not anymore. Not not since you're gonna infect me. But we can do that. 
And that's probably a great place to be. Uh, yeah. So we're going to start the turn off by playing an Offenza. All right. And I would like to get four damage in this turn, but I don't think I can afford it because I don't want to shock myself because then it just deals me more damage. And I'm going to cord for two. Okay. And I'm just... I think we just have to do this because we have more outs to win the game next turn. But if we if we go for life gain, we don't have any resources, and Tom's just going to get us. So I have to. I guess that has the biggest target on its head. So might as well bolster over here anyway. Wait, can you just keep all of your artifacts alive? You can just keep all your artifacts and just floor me? I'm pretty sure this Galvanic Blast kills you. No. Oh, yeah. Because you don't have to... Yeah, I'm just dead. After this, and these attack you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> if I could ruin untapped land, I was going to... I could have hit you for seven poison damage if you gained infinite life that turn. Wow. The seventh coming from a pump from a link wolf nexus. In retrospect, maybe I did play that game wrong. I could have gotten Pontiff and not played around with the Anafenza. And Pontiff could have killed all your guys, leaving you with three one ones and tried to race the three one ones. That would have probably been a better play. Yeah, that's a way better play. I totally just punted that. Alright, so I ended up having to mulligan a very mana heavy hand, and we have something similar, but uh, it's m a much better hand, so I'll keep. Charles kind of weak, but I play all my cards on the first turn or near, near to it. Let's do okay. it. Okay, <laughs> your turn. I think I want to cast that. All right, let's do what I'm for sure doing. For sure doing all this. All right. Play this. I guess I can just play drum because drum's free. Yeah. What do I cast? I guess it's Vault Scourge. Because that's the most damage. Although I do want to blast that. Maybe blasting is better because he's on a mulligan. No, wait, alright. Page your life of that. Alright, you're at 18. Yeah, good. Alright, on the tap draw. Uh, all right, so we'll play this, play Noble, and attack for two. Okay. Put you at 16, and your turn. Do three things and just one thing, or I can do two things. Two as long things as you don't whip your flare back and forth, I am fine with whatever you do. I'm gonna go to an attack step then. All right, go for it. Yeah, just one. Okay, 19 to 17. Go find a glass. All right, Noble's down. Yep. Yeah. Go. I'll go to eighteen. You can do it in response to. Yeah. yeah. Or I'll respond with that and just do that. I'll respond to it like that. Well, I guess it goes in the graveyard immediately. Oh, it does go in the graveyard immediately. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, it would have happened anyway. Yep. <laughs> Good? No? Yeah, might as well. Draw. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Uh, 
I still don't want to play this because if he rips a whip flare, is there any way he's going to be able to cast whip flare next turn? No. Go. Where am I at? Trigger. <laughs> So you're gonna do that during your upkeep? Yeah. Alright, double down. So is the relic. Another mana. So I got two mana. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna keep this stuff. No. Let's keep my mana sources, I guess. Alright. Yep. Alright. Right, no, I didn't draw yet. Uh, go. Alright, I'll sacrifice this. Let's go to 18. It's been a long time since I played Kotaki, but it's still pretty messed up. <laughs> yeah, I should have got my Galvanic Blast, I suppose. Yeah. Playing it on a noble's a little greedy. Modern is a tough format. I screwed up last game, you screwed up this game. Yeah, 17. Alright, upkeep, trigger. Uh, it's a really good hand. Oh, wait. I... No, you paid two for both of them. Oh, that was that last turn. Okay. Yeah. I'll attack for three. Put two at 14. 14, 17, your turn. I guess I shouldn't have kept Mox Opal so I can't actually. Oh, I should have just. No, whatever. It's gone. This is alive. Yeah. Um. Go. Alright. Coco. Sweet. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these getting back clutch company. And then untap, draw. Is there anything cool I can do? Not really. So I guess I'll just be doing stuff on at the end of your turn again. Uh, I'll just attack for five. Put you at nine. Your turn. Okay. All right. <laughs> Coco. Um, two, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, a Malira and then birds. Untap. Draw. Abrupt decay that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I might have screwed that up. Are you thinking too hard? I am thinking too hard. Attack for seven. Got it. Too. Just seeing if I could have flickered that and killed you, but I couldn't. I give up. Yeah. Alright, it all comes down to this. Uh, versus videos where both players are two and two going into game five. <laughs> it's pretty rare. <laughs> All right, we're here for game five. I'm on the play. I'm only getting down to six. I don't have a consistent creature, but I do have interactive spell and my best card was probably cranial plating. Well, I didn't mulligan, and I have no excuse for keeping this, but I'm going to. I'm pretty sure anyone that plays this deck would mulligan this against Affinity, but okay. Ugh. I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, go. All right. Untap. Draw. Go. Does that change anything? Yeah. What if I get Kataki on? Do I have a luxury of playing around it? I think I do. Go. Untap. Draw. <laughs> Go. <laughs> this. And this. Don't know if I want to respond to Mox Opal. Okay. 
Mox Opal on the stack. So, things for a card like a prop to kick it worse and worse, but I think we can we can hold off. Like, the Ravager isn't lethal yet. He would have to sacrifice his board to start attacking, and then it would go on to, like, uh, something else, and hopefully we can get out of this. But, uh, yeah, it's fine. Just do your thing. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Any better way to cut? It's probably better. No, it's not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I guess it matters. Results. I'm going to do equip it, then eat it. All right, equip it. Yep. It's actually a rough kit. In the planes, or... Uh, no, I'm gonna get a forest. Oh, forest. Yeah. So this eats. Ain't no point in eating anything else. Probably not. So I'm at 19 currently. Probably can't eat the drone. I need to draw them too. Alright, so I'll be going to 16. Yeah, go ahead. Draw. Ooh. Alright, Kataki. Off of a points. Okay, got Benny Blasted. That's sad. Let me just double check my base account. I'm not familiar with this deck. Okay. I have that actually. But I should have used this. All right. All right. And oh no, no, because I want a double force. Should use that. All right. Four damage to the Kentucky. Your turn. Okay. Yep. Yep. Score the four. Fifteen a second ago. Uh, oh, did I miss a fetch? Yeah, I'm at nine. Okay, yeah, go. Five, six, seven, eight. That's not a healthy life total. I think I might be dead. Might have been able to sack one more, but that would have been very risky. Sack this open or something. Nah. Uh, eight is bad for me. I guess. Are we gonna be able to get get him in any way with this collective company? But it it might be better to. Uh, maybe hit a Kataki. We have kitchen things as birds. A lot of witnesses. A lot of ways to get to another turn. If, and you, if you just main phase Kataki, I'll kill you. I yes, I would need a I would need Bird's Kataki. Or Kitchen Fink's Kataki. Mm-hmm. Uh or no, you couldn't kill me. You could put me at one. If I Coco into <laughs> into it uh because of the fetch. Alright, so I'm just thinking like there are a couple cards that would mean that he wouldn't want the Blink Moth animated. So I think I'm supposed to just say go, because there's only one Kataki left in my deck. Huh. 
She has to find a flaw here. All right. We'll get in there. All right. So I have to go to eight. Okay. Grab a f forest. Um, Play Clutch Company. But we're going to have you give my deck a shuffler or a cut for the suspense of it all. It comes down to these six cards. Kind of helps. <laughs> Doesn't help. Doesn't help. Doesn't help. No. Yeah, I'm dead. Right. Eight, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Let's go to seven. <sighs> dead exactsies. Good game. Good game. <laughs> So after uh, the first game, I definitely was like, oh, this might be a really bad matchup for Affinity. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't realize it because I just comboed off so quickly. But uh, Affinity did its thing and showed uh, exactly why it still wins a lot of Modern. And uh, and I don't I don't know. I think my keep in the last game was fine. Like, I could have drawn a couple, like, Mad Accelerants. What was it? It was Restoration Angel, Cord, Coco, Abrupt Decay, Three Lands. Okay. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that hand has a lot of growth. Yeah, any accelerant, you're in very good shape. Yeah, and I could still draw, like, another piece of removal and it'd be decent shape. Like, I wouldn't keep it against a seven-card hand affinity draw, but when you're down to six, like, affinity can get pretty anemic. And also, sixes turn into fives a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I thought the hand was fine against affinity on six. But, um, no, I mean, I like this deck. It's a little all over the place. <laughs> it's yeah. a little wild, but... Uh, Feels like a slot machine, your collected companies. Yes, and people so, love, you know, spinning the wheel. Very flashy. I guess this is a classic battle of consistency against flashiness. You know what? Yes. You you know. Tom Ross, everyone. Qu uh, quality over quantity. <laughs> You've seen it here first. I just gab all the time, and you just say the exact same thing that I'm trying to say in a thousand words. But, um... But, that I mean, that's true. Like, I mean, that's how modern is. Like, Affinity is just a consistent deck that, you know, has a slightly slower clock than every other deck, but it always does its thing. Right. And uh, there's a lot of decks that just have a higher fail rate. So uh, I, I don't know if the fail rate of these Collected Company decks is that high, but I do think that because Collected Company makes you play so many creatures that you don't have as many real answers to a deck like Affinity. So I don't even think that this is a bad matchup for Affinity. After, yeah, after seeing it, it doesn't feel bad. Like, you have to have your removal spells correctly, and maybe that deck should start playing gut shots. Maybe. Your, your high-impact cards are very high-impact. Like, when I waste Galvanic Blast mm -hmm. instead of killing your Kotaku. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, gut shot is, like, a really good answer to that card. Uh, so, I mean, and more Kotakis, more co collective companies means more Kotakis in the format. So, like, maybe, maybe these... Uh, these affinity decks should start playing just a specific answer for the the card that hates them the most. Yeah, maybe. Maybe something like Spell Pierce would be good in their sideboards. Uh, oh, yeah, just to get the collected companies and the cords? Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, that's good, too. These cards cost a lot of mana. Um, and you're tapping out again for them. It's not like you can play around the card. Yeah. So, yeah, Spell Pierce could be good, too. But I don't like situational cards. Like, I like a gut shot because, like, it could just kill the birds on turn one. You know, it's just fast and, and reliable. Um, yep. But anyway, guys... Thanks for watching. Uh, this weekend, we're in Columbus for the Star City Games Open featuring the Invitational, where we will also be playing Modern. I, I already can tell you I won't be playing either of these two decks. Uh, I got my minds on something special. I have no idea what I'm playing. Probably won't be Infect. It probably won't be Infect. I think, I think I'm going to make you play what I'm playing. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe I'll find something. What's your opinion you on Crater Hoof? It's okay. It's big. All right. Good. All right. We already got him on it. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Join us uh, at SCG Live this weekend where we're going to be bringing you two whole days of uh, the Invitational Swiss followed by the Top 8 on Sunday and maybe some of the Open after that too. I don't know. It's three whole days. Three, two whole days of Swiss. I, uh, I, I caught myself, right? See, I, I was going to say three, but I said two. But to, to you know, sell it. Two and a half days. Yeah, two and a half. <laughs> I mean, it, we do show a lot of magic on Sunday for the Top 8 too. And we'll see who is crowned uh, players championship worthy from the winner, also the uh, points leader, which is actually exciting this time around. Yeah. Usually you have to fake excitement for the leader race because there's always someone so far ahead. But like right now we've got three or four people all 
like within ten points of each other. Yeah, it's definitely closest it's ever been. Was it Ross, Miriam, Ross yeah. Fabiano, and Joe Lissette and one other. Kevin Jones, maybe? Kevin, yeah, Kevin Jones. They're all within, like, before this past weekend, they were all, like, at 212, 212, 213 or something, mm. which is ridiculous how many points everyone's getting, too. I know. It's way more like, than last year. Way more points than last year. Like, I, I even looked this season. So far this season, Gerard already has over 100 points from this season alone, like, this calendar year. Yeah, he's tearing it up. Like, yeah, all, like, 130 points or something. You know how many points I have? Mm, I have no six. idea because I gave up <laughs> scrolling down. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I just gave up scrolling. But, yeah, probably, like, Less than 10. Less than 10 open points. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, join us this weekend. We'll be there battling, hopefully for two days. I haven't been making many day twos at the Invitationals lately, so fingers crossed. And Tom will probably win it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>